You're like, yes, we are live. Hello and assalamu alaikum to all the people watching the live video. I'm Aman Khan, and as promised, we are here with the session in which we'll discuss solar energy. Today with me, I have Mr. Islam, who is a solar energy expert. He has a immense experience in the solar energy background, and he is the deputy manager of technical sales at DS Group. So welcome, Islam. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. How are you? How's, I'm good. How's the quarantine coming along? Quarantine is coming along fine. Just we are just working from home and everything like everyone else. I hope everyone is safe. Oh, yes, I really hope that. And what are you doing to kill the time? Except for work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am doing a lot of reading these days. Okay, mocha baat acha mil gaya. Or iske oh. lava, uh, we're doing some other work. Uh, like research and stuff or the family time obviously very nice um since coming back to the topic as today we promised our viewers that we will be talking about the transition to the solar energy with all these transitions the world is facing these days so um there was a publication published in the various solar magazines and in the energy magazines which says that 38 percent cfo says that solar energy will be the most dominant form of energy by 2023 so uh, being a person who is very into the solar energy uh, market so how will you who describe it and what do you think are the reasons behind it and do you agree Achha. i obviously agree iske andar hame na detail mein thodi si cheezon ko dekhna padega uh, firstly let's consider the facts uh, for the past 5 or so years what has been happening in the industry Uh, mm -hmm. when it's when solar started out at first it was not a very big deal but then we saw later yes. that uh, tech giants like google microsoft apple ye jitne bhi sare mm -hmm. giants hain sab ne faisla kiya ke by 2030 or 2020 or 2025 most of them will go green and they will have mm -hmm. a new uh, zero carbon output so zero carbon output ka basically matlab ye hai ke jitni bhi energy wo produce kar rahe hain they are adding zero mm -hmm. carbon dioxide to the environment so uh -huh. when we see decisions made by such big giants we wonder ke iske piche kya reason ho sakti hai so mm, definitely iske piche uh, jo reasons hai i'll come to that but first let's look at globally uh, the phenomenon that has been there as a whole so pehle mm -hmm. to in giants ne decide kiya inko follow karte hue aur baki bahut sari companies ne ye decide kiya and then we saw in europe and also in the usa and other countries entire countries decided to go for solar they have mm -hmm. set goals that by 2050 or 2070 or even by 2040 they will go carbon neutral to iska kya mm -hmm. matlab hai aur iska iska itna bada impact kis tarah se create ho gaya solar ka usko again dekhne ke liye hame kuch uske factors ko understand karna padega mm -hmm. so firstly uh, we have a history uh, of energy uh, jis tarah ke pehle sare fossil fuels istemal hote the we have seen over the decades coal and oil were being used Uh, since the 80s solar bahut recently abhi aakar commercially is tarah se produce ho raha hai ki globally even third world countries ke andar isko uh, uh, preference di jane lagi hai so when we saw that uh, we came to realize that there must be some factors because of all the uh, countries and all these giants that are going on solar there must be uh, uh, a lot of reasons so sabse pehla jo iska aspect hai wo hai sustainability तो सस्टेनेबिलिटी बेसिकली जब भी आप कोई कंट्री या कोई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को रन कर रहे होते हैं तो उसकी सबसे बड़ी कॉस्ट जो होती है दैट इज एनर्जी कॉस्ट एंड दैट इज ऑपरेशनल कॉस्ट तो उस एनर्जी कॉस्ट को बेसिकली कम करने के लिए सोलर जो है वो बहुत फायदेमंद साबित होता है वो किस तरह से होता है लेट्स लेट मी कम टू पाकिस्तान सो दैट इज मोर रेलिवेंट टू द पीपल हु आर वॉचिंग राइट नाउ पाकिस्तान के अंदर जितने भी बड़ी इंडस्ट्रीज हैं टेक्सटाइल सेक्टर and uh, other rice sector and other sectors what they do is they have their own power plants apart from the industry their primary mm -hmm. business is textiles for example but the power plant is there just to supply their energy needs so because they definitely under, need a larger amount of energy yes they definitely need a very large amount of energy or wo agar directly unko government utilities provide karenge so that is uh, not only expensive for them it will even mm. create a greater supply and demand gap which already exists in the country So sure. we 
we saw that they have these large power plants of coal and furnace oil running since decades. Now, when mm-hmm. you look at these plants, so in their both broad drawback, what is that? In their running cost of the plant itself. When we see such a plant set up, there is the raw material firstly, coal or whatever kind of material is used. Then the plant is a multi-billion dollar plant. In it, there is so much capital investment required that a small businessman can't do it. So the second thing that is there is the uh, the running cost of the plant. You have to continuously transport the fuel to the plant, and you have to continuously uh, maintain that mega plant apart from the business you are running. You have to have that technical expertise to do all those tasks, and the or instead of energy to provide, for it, it takes a huge chunk out of your profits and adds okay. it to the operational cost. So when it comes to solar or other renewables, there is a definite advantage over here. The sustainability aspect is a long-term aspect. Se. The very mm-hmm. first advantage, obviously, is the when you invest in solar or any other renewable form, uh, it is a one-time investment, especially with solar. You see, when uh, once you invest in energy source, uh, it gives you a uh, free energy for lifetime. So, इस तरह का जब आपको एक energy source मिल जाता है, तो उस energy source का वहाँ पर मौजूद होना अगले uh, 25 to 30 years, which will uh, marginally cut off your operational costs and add to the profits it bahut bada advantage hota hai businessman ke liye so that is the reason that uh, primary reason is ki wajah se google aur sare tech giants jo hai iske liye opt karte hain definitely so, so do you think that by 2023 solar energy will be the most dominant uh, solar energy even now solar energy is the most dominant form of energy in some of the european countries like germany for example they have a goal mm-hmm. to go completely renewable by 2030. When a whole okay. country sets that goal, so uske andar jitni industries and they are 90% to wo already solar par aa chuki hongi. So these are factual figures from like a, a report published by Irina, jo ke ek aisa idara hai jo solar ke baare mein reporting karta hai puri dunya ke upar. So, so what about Pakistan? Pakistan ke andar solar trend started about uh, uh, like four to five years ago. Properly, when the big industries started to implement it. And mm-hmm. obviously, uh, it was a slow ride at first. But now, uh, SDS Global is also involved in several mega projects across the country. There are some other companies also that are involved. So, we have seen that the industrialists now they have awareness of the benefits of solar. Not mm-hmm. only for themselves, but they also feel morally obligated that we have to take it from a business and a एक बिजनेस के तहत हमारी ग्रीन रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज एनवायरनमेंट के ऊपर क्या है तो उसको लेकर भी उन्होंने किस्मत करी ओके सो हम देख रहे हैं कि दिस ऑल इज हैपनिंग एंड ऑल द ट्रांजिशंस आर हैपनिंग सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक आर द मेन फैक्टर्स जैसे अभी फिलहाल आई थिंक वन ऑफ द मेन फैक्टर्स इज द एनवायरनमेंट थिंग के वी आर नाउ आई बीन इन द लॉकडाउन वी आर सेइंग दैट एनवायरनमेंट इज रिकवरिंग सो वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मिनिमाइज द इफेक्ट लेटर ऑन so what do you think are the major factors behind the transition from fossils to solar uh, the major factor is first of all uh, that solar is a renewable source a renewable source ek hum bahut lafz sunte hain iska ek meaning it has a very deep meaning uh, you mm-hmm. have coal and you have natural gas and in the yes. next 100 years only all of the reserves on earth will be depleted according to scientists and everyone else but jab aap mm-hmm. solar ko dekhte hain to you have the sun for the next 10 billion years, it will be there. So, this is the aspect of exactly. renewable energy. Ka, that is very important in the transition. Transition can the mm-hmm. costs ki baat to kar hi hon, lekin globally, the people uh, and the environmental activists are so active, so much awareness has come into it. According to PV Magazine, uh, the CFOs that were reporting the topic that we are discussing today. The CFO has reported that uh, in the last uh, one year, they have been handling at least five cases that are related to the environment, five legal cases. So, the people who are the communities, the environmental activists, the bodies, they are very much uh, stand layering uh, on uh, traditional and conventional sources of energy. Because they are environmentally very damaging. Hote so, the awareness factor is also very important in the people. Iske ilawa, Iske ilawa, jo international regulations hai, they are becoming stricter and stricter day by day. That is very fortunate for us. Uh, jo idare hai, 
जो इस पे काम करते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल द वंस दैट प्रिवेंट एयर पोल्यूशन एक्सेट्रा द एयर द वंस दैट मॉनिटर एयर इंडेक्स इस तरह के जितने भी इंस्टीट्यूशन हैं दे आर ऑल फोकस्ड राइट नाउ कि आप रिन्यूएबल्स की तरफ आए क्योंकि रिन्यूएबल्स में सबसे पहला जो हमारा जो मकसद पूरा होता है वो है क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज एज यू नो इट इज डेवेस्टेटिंग फॉर श्योर डेवेस्टेटिंग टॉकिंग अबाउट द करंट सिचुएशन जो अभी वायरस यहाँ पर आया हुआ है कोरोना वायरस अकॉर्डिंग टू अ स्टडी एज ग्लेशियर मेल्ट देर आर अदर वायरस एंड बैक्टीरिया दैट है फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स इन दोज इन दोज ग्लेशियर्स तो वेन दीज ग्लेशियर मेल्ट दिस डोमेंट वायरस एंड बैक्टीरिया दे ऑल्सो बिकम एक्टिव एंड दे विल ऑल्सो इफेक्ट द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द पीपल ऑन अर्थ तो ये एक बहुत बड़ा इम्पैक्ट है दट इज ऑल्सो पॉइंट फॉर कंसर्न एंड द करंट सिचुएशन इज ओपन लॉट ऑफ आईज इट हैज क्रिएटेड लॉट ऑफ नॉइज मंग पीपल ये वाला अर्थ डे जो था आई नोटिस दैट देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट केम आउट ऑन द स्ट्रीट डिस्पाइट कोरोना सम प्रोटेस्टेड ऑनलाइन अगेंस्ट द इन्वायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज और जो मजे की बात है इसके अंदर वो ये है कि जो नॉट ओनली टेक जाइंट्स एंड इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एंड कंज्यूमर बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज generation industries also are shifting towards renewable uh, uh-huh. for example those industries jo pehle coal ko use karke bijli produce kar rahi thi ya aur kisi is tarah ke conventional fuel se produce kar rahi thi they are also now shifting towards renewables aur uski reason bhi wo do reasons batate hain firstly uh, yahi factor hai ki once uh, they uh, start producing with renewables they can sell it for free basically they sell it to the government or to the people unke apni generation cost piche se koi nahi rehti that is a very huge difference when compared to maintaining a traditional or conventional fuel plant and the other mm-hmm. reason is the pressure from the environmental activists and the, and these societies and institutions embargoes lagte ja rahe hain ke air index pehle ye ke is tarah tha ke 50 par maintain hona chahiye then it came down to 30 now it's even further down restrictions badhti hi ja rahi hain more and more countries are signing the, signing them even third world countries are signing those agreements इसकी वजह से इन प्लांट्स के लिए ऑपरेशन करना ही बहुत मुश्किल हो गया इन ऑर्डर टू सरवाइव आल्सो दे आर शिफ्टिंग टू सोलर तो ये एक और बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है गुड थिंग या दैट पीपल आर फाइनली रियलाइजिंग दैट आफ्टर स्पेशली आई थिंक दैट आफ्टर दिस कोरोना थिंग व्हेन वी हैव सीन द एनवायरमेंट रिकवर सो वी हैव रियलाइज्ड कि कितना कुछ था जो हम मिस कर रहे थे सिंस द स्काई इज ऑल क्लियर द एक्यूआई इज ऑल डाउन सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग दैट पीपल आर फाइनली रियलाइजिंग कि ये एक चेंज है जो आना चाहिए और रहना चाहिए सो कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक दिस ट्रांजिशन टू द रिन्यूबल्स सो इट स्पेसिफिकली सेड इन द स्टडीज दैट सोलर एनर्जी विल बी मोर डोमिनेंट सो वाई ऑनली सोलर एनर्जी वी हैव ऑल्सो मेनी अदर रिन्यूएबल्स बट वाई द मेन फोकस ऑन ऑन द सोलर एनर्जी द सोलर एनर्जी हैव मेनी सच पॉजिटिव एस्पेक्ट एंड वट आर द रीजन बिहाइंड ऑनली बींग सोलर एनर्जी Uh, there are a couple of reasons for that and very important reasons for only solar uh, in order to understand that we have to first understand other renewable energy sources isme do sabse important sources hain wind and water pehle hum baat kar lete hain wind ki uh-huh. wind ki jab bhi hum koi wind turbine install karte hain ya koi wind ko use karna chahte hain as a source you have to understand ke wind jo hai इट इज अवेलेबल इन स्पेसिफिक कॉरिडोर्स उसके लिए आपको एक बहुत स्पेसिफिक जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन चाहिए दैट इज नियर कोस्टल एरियाज और अदर विंड कॉरिडोर्स नियर द सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन यूरोपियन कंट्रीज इन जर्मनी दे हैव अलॉट ऑफ ऑफ शोर विंड फार्म जो कि माइल्स दूर होते हैं इन द सी वहाँ पर एक वो रिक बनाते हैं और उसके ऊपर टर्बाइन लगाते हैं एंड फ्रॉम देर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ट्रांसमिटेड बैक टू द कंट्री तो विंड के लिए हमें ये लोकेशन चाहिए लोकेशन की बात करें तो इसी तरह हमें वाटर के अंदर वी नीड डैम्स वाटर का फ्लो चाहिए होता है एक्सटेंसिव अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर विच इज नॉट अवेलेबल एवरीवेयर थ्रू आउट द ग्लोब सिर्फ वहीं पर जहाँ पर माउंटेनियस टोपोग्राफी हो एंड वेयर वी कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट डैम्स वहां पर हम सिर्फ वाटर सोर्स तो वाटर को ऑब्वियसली वाटर इज ऑल इन इट सेल्फ स्कार सोर्स तो वाटर को यूज करते हुए एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एक उसको एस्पेक्ट आ जाता है क्लियर और दूसरा एस्पेक्ट ये कि स्मॉल स्केल के ऊपर दीज सोर्सेज कैन नॉट बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड वाटर एंड विंड दोनों वेन एवर यू इंस्टॉल अ हाइड्रो प्रोजेक्ट और विंड टर्बाइन प्रोजेक्ट इट इज अ मेगा स्केल प्रोजेक्ट जितनी कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट इसके लिए चाहिए होती है इंडस्ट्रीज इवन कंट्रीज कैन नॉट अफोर्ड दैट 
हमारी कंट्री की मिसाल भी आपके सामने है कि हमने कितने डैम्स अभी तक कंस्ट्रक्ट किए हैं बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी कॉस्टली प्रोडक्ट प्रोसेस तो इसको भी एक देखने के लिए बहुत ज्यादा एक कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव कोई वे इसका अभी तक नहीं आ सका सोलर के जब हम बात करते हैं इन दोनों एस्पेक्ट के अंदर कॉस्ट इनिशियल कैपिटल कॉस्ट एंड जोग्राफी के अंदर तो जो सोलर है इट हैज क्लियर एडवांटेजेस सबसे पहले तो ये कि वेर एवर सन इज अवेलेबल सोलर कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड देयर और जब कॉस्ट mm-hmm. की बात आती है तो इट कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड इन स्मॉल स्केल फॉर एग्जांपल इट कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड इन योर होम और माय होम और इट कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड इन अ लार्ज ओपन एरिया एंड सप्लाई अ होल टाउन इवन तो सोलर mm-hmm. के अंदर ये एक बहुत बड़ी फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी है कि स्पेस की और टोपोग्राफी की इसके ऊपर कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है जहां पर भी धूप अवेलेबल होगी वी कैन इंस्टॉल अ सोलर पावर प्लांट बीट स्मॉल और बीट लार्ज अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीड इसके लिए कोई बहुत यूज कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं चाहिए होती तो द अदर थिंग दैट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इज एनर्जी ट्रांसमिशन एंड एनर्जी लॉसेस जब भी विंड और हाइड्रो से आप एनर्जी बनाते हैं तो इट इज इन स्पेसिफिक एरियाज और इसको आप ट्रांसमिट करते हैं टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द डिमांड एरियाज एग्जाम्पल इन पाकिस्तान द डैम्स आर इन द नॉर्दर्न मोस्ट एरियाज और सारी की सारी एनर्जी ट्रांसमिट होती है सदर्न एंड अदर एरियाज के अंदर तो जो सोलर है इट विल कट ऑफ ऑन योर ट्रांसमिशन लॉसेज एंड ट्रांसमिशन कॉस्ट सोलर एग्जैक्टली आप वहीं पर इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं जहां पर इसकी डिमांड है यू डोंट नीड एनीथिंग अदर देन दैट सो दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट व्हेन इट कम्स टू सोलर दिस दिस अ कोड अबाउट सोलर एनर्जी दैट आई रियली लाइक दैट व्हाई आर वी डिगिंग द अर्थ इफ एनर्जी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द सन सो आई थिंक दैट्स रियली सम्स अप द डिस्कशन दैट uh solar energy is definitely we're never going to run out of it because sun is shining until we are here so assam hamare paas kafi questions bhi aa rahe hain so hum saath saath questions bhi lenge screen pe so sam can you hear me i think we have lost connection with islam so we will have to get him back Yeah, I think yes. I disconnected for a while. Yes, uh, we lost that. the connection, but we're back. So I was saying that uh, there are a lot of questions coming in. So we'll be also taking the questions. The ones who are watching the live, you can drop your questions in the comment section. So we have a question from Mr. Dana Al, and it's kindly comment on the payback period of solar power plant. That's a very important question, as most of the people reg- have this regarding the solar energy. So or kindly comment on the payback solar period of a solar power plant that is a very important and a very interesting point that mr danyal has brought up Okay, we are waiting for Islam to join back. Meanwhile, if you have any questions regarding solar energy, renewables, and please drop in, and also please comment that what you want to know and how you see solar energy transitioning. And we have Islam back on the line. So yes, Islam, back to the question. Yes. So I was saying, I was saying that when you uh, comment about the payback period, solar का जो payback period है, it is very lucrative. Only three to four. Oh, such things happen. Sam, we've lost the connection again.
Sam, can you hear me? I think we have lost the connection. So meanwhile, Islam joins, we're coming back to the question I raised, that is why solar energy? And uh, what I think is the main concern is that solar and the main reason why we are focusing more on the solar energy is that the sun is shining, we are here, and we are here until the sun shines. So why not utilize all that energy? And I think Islam is back on the line. I hope you're back, Islam. Yes, I'm back. Uh, there are some connectivity problems. Uh, I apologize for that. Yes, we totally understand them as we've gone used to them up from working from the home thing. So I hope we don't lose the connection again. And coming back to the question, kindly comment on the payback period of solar power plant. Uh, so the payback period, I was saying, the solar ka payback period is for sirf three to four years. So compare it with other payback periods of other plants, they are in decades, obviously, because they are mega projects. The solar ka payback period is very lucrative and very uh, acceptable when it comes to even a small consumer. Mm -hmm. So that is just the payback period of the solar. And if you have any other questions that are coming in, you can uh, you can uh, put them forward. Yes, we will keep them coming. But uh, let's come back to the question. There was also a thing that since we're talking about solar energy, so um, that's the thing that uh, do you think that solar energy has the right power to sustain all these big businesses that are now shifting to solar energy? I think we have again lost connection with Islam. Okay, I think Islam is back again, Islam. Yes. Yes. So, uh, where were we? We were on the topic that where do you think that solar energy will be able to sustain all these large businesses? I think Islam won't be able to join us, so I have to take the conversation from here. And we might have someone else from the team on board for it. So, Yeah, so while Islam join, I'll be talking upon uh, why solar energy. So uh, since we are moving on to the next question that uh, solar energy and its effect on the environment. So uh, I think that since this all lockdown thing, we all have realized that solar energy is really playing a big part in saving the environment since we all know that most of the energy we use is consumed from the fossils and fossils create a lot of the carbon which is released into the environment. And in this year, we have seen a lot of the air quantity rising and whatnot. So I think we have this arm back with us. Sam, can you hear me? Yes. yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you as well. So, uh, are the connectivity issues good yes. now? I can't hear you. There's distortion. Yes, it's good. Hopefully. 
there is obviously a connectivity issue on my side. Uh, I don't know how to resolve it. Uh, now you're back in the screen, Vesey. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I hope you stay this time and we should come back on the topic. It's uh, You were commenting on the thing that uh, solar energy as you think a solar energy uh, since transitions are transitions, everyone's coming back on the solar energy, especially the large businesses. So do you think that solar energy has the uh, power or the ability to sustain all that large businesses if we shift to it? And, and especially with respect to the perspective of Pakistan. Okay, there are two aspects. Hai. Firstly, if we look at solar potential in Pakistan, ka potential kitna hai Pakistan mein. So we have a lot mm -hmm. of potential, obviously. There is a lot of sunlight. There is a lot of space available for solar, ideal space available for solar. So mm -hmm. as long as potential goes, it is available. When we talk about sustaining businesses, so there are two aspects. Hai. Solar is uh, still in development phase. There is a working in this phase. But there is also other working available. Mm -hmm. But there is also other working and other research going on. Because one of the drawbacks is basically where there are many benefits. The drawback is that solar is not available at night. So when the solar is available at night, those businesses which run at night time, some production jo industries, hoti hai, to wahan par we need a lot of energy storage from solar. So mm -hmm. energy storage ke upar bhi in parallel kaam hona hai in order for solar to make the businesses sustainable. But 80% uh, of the work has already been done. I feel personally that solar is right now the best source that we can turn to for making not only businesses sustainable, but uh, hmm. our country as a whole sustainable when it comes to talking about energy and energy crisis. 
Hmm. So uh, since we are uh, related to the energy market and DS Global has been doing a very large scale projects, so I'd like you to give few examples of the large businesses on solar energy to the viewers watching that have gone solar with DS Global. Right. There are many businesses that have gone solar with DS Global. In Kendar, jo, I feel the biggest names are Sabse Pele to Mehmood Textile Mills. Uh, they have branches uh, all over Punjab. They are this huge textile unit for people who don't know. I feel that there is no need for But for those uh, people who don't know about Mahmood Group, they have a large textile group uh, and they also have other businesses like hospitals and pharmacies, etc. So hmm. Mahmood Group has done a few mega scale projects with us. They started out with a 16 kilowatts project at Muzaffargarh. And when they hmm. saw the benefits of solar, then they started putting solar in, on all their other units as well. Uh, recently, hmm. they installed a 1.2 megawatt solar power plant at the Kabiwala unit. And after that, the other unit is also installed on 1.4 megawatt installation. Chal rahi hai. Apart from that, uh, the biggest beneficiaries of solar have been educational institutions, colleges hmm. and universities. So, in this case, Lahore Medical and Dental College, they have gone solar with us. That is also a huge, uh, huge project, 0.6 megawatts. And hmm. other than that, the food industry, because they're operational in Corona to their full capacity, so they're also opting for solar. Uh, we have recently installed a project at Ilahi Rice Mills that is about uh, 260 to 270 kilowatts. So they have they are, all of these institutions. You have to understand that they're making huge benefits. They are making huge savings in their operational costs. The uh, mm -hmm. college, the medical and dental college, that is selling electricity back to the grid on a daily basis. They have gone into a net zero state when it comes to electricity billing. And in this case, we have a very big project, a very big firm which has decided to go solar. They have been uh, working on solar since a long time, Century Paper and Board Mills. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a 2 megawatt project that is ongoing there right now as we speak. And also there are countless other projects that we've done and that, that they're ongoing. So DS Global is obviously among the pioneers that is uh, bringing awareness not only to individuals in masses, uh, but also to the industries, uh, not through example and through uh, practical uh, uh, implementations by showing evidence of the benefits that have been there in the past. So, in ko dekhte hue, baat saari industries aur baat saare log aur solo ke taraf aare hain. Bilkul, aisa hi hai. Uh, saab, abhi aapne baat bhi ki of selling back to the grid that LMDC is selling back to grid and uh, having all the advantages from that. So can you explain the process of selling back to the grid and uh, the net metering and all to the viewers watching? Uh, the process is relatively simple. The only condition is that when you install the solar system, so you have to get it installed through an AEDB approved vendor. AEDB is the Alternate Energy Development Board, which is a government in Pakistan which is renewables. Ke liye kaam kar rahe. So, the uh, generation licenses issue hote hai, net metering jitni bhi hoti hai, wo is ke through hoti hai. So there are only a few companies that are registered with AEDB and DS Global is among the top companies, among the top names at AEDB. So you have your system uh, DS Global or any other AEDB registered company ke through when install it. So, the second step is simply that we file an application uh, to NEPRA and NEPRA sees that you have installed the solar system. Install kiya hua hai. And if it is according to standards, according to the international standards, safety standards and everything, so then they issue you a license of generating uh -huh. electricity. This license uh, is issued alongside a net meter. A net meter is also And this net meter, ke through, you are exporting energy back to the grid when you are not using it. As much as your excess energy is produced, it keeps on going back to the grid. And as much as the surplus hota hai, jo amount hoti hai, that is adjusted in your monthly bills. And it is a win-win situation. Yeah, that's definitely a very useful thing in solar thing. So uh, we uh, always talk about different systems. So grid tied solar plant or hybrid solar plant, which ones do you think are better? Both of them have their own advantages and disadvantages. Uh, uh -huh. They can obviously uh, considering the uh, current scenarios and the scale on which solar is being implemented. Grid tied solar power plants are doing are outdoing hybrid power plants by far. In the hybrid mm -hmm. power plants, when there are battery backups, hote hai, to they can only be implemented on small scale, or 10 to 20 kilowatt systems at best. Mm -hmm. 
जो आइडियल सिचुएशन होती हैं वरना अगर इससे ऊपर जाएंगे तो यू नीड अ वेरी लार्ज बैटरी बैंक टू सपोर्ट योर सोलर इंस्टॉलेशन और बैटरीज की कॉस्ट एक और जो हमारे व्यूर्स है उनके लिए मैं बता देता हूँ कि बैटरीज की कॉस्ट जो है दैट इज रिकरिंग हर टू से थ्री ईयर्स के बाद यू हैव टू रिप्लेस द बैटरीज विद न्यू बैटरीज सोलर सिस्टम आपका सोलर पैनल्स तो लगे रहते हैं बट यू हैव टू रिप्लेस द बैटरी तो वन इट कम्स टू ग्रिड टाइट पावर प्लांट तो इसके अंदर कोई रिकरिंग कॉस्ट नहीं होती आपकी वंस यू हैव इंस्टॉल्ड द प्लांट इट विल कीप ऑन गिविंग यू इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यू कैन सेल बैक टू द ग्रिड ऑल्सो तो दैट इज बाई फार ग्रेटर बेटर ऑप्शन दैन हाइब्रिड पावर प्लांट क्योंकि हाइब्रिड पावर प्लांट जो है वो एक स्मॉल स्केल बेसिस के ऊपर ही वर्क कर सकते हैं अच्छा देयर इज आल्सो अ वेरी बेसिक एंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हियर कि सिंस वी ऑलवेज ट्राई टू मेक इट सिंपल फॉर द पीपल सो आई आई एम श्योर दैट मेनी पीपल डोंट नो द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ ग्रिड टाइप सोलर प्लांट एंड अ हाइब्रिड सोलर पावर प्लांट सो आई वुड लाइक यू टू गिव अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ बोथ के दोनों में डिफरेंसेस क्या होता है और किस तरह दोनों वर्क करते हैं राइट ग्रिड टाइप पावर प्लांट की वर्किंग जो होती है वो रिलेटिवली सिंपल होती है उसके अंदर यू हैव द सोलर on one side and you have the warp down on the on the on the other side so uh-huh. solar is producing electricity you are using it if there is extra electricity that is going back to the grid through your net meter if solar mm-hmm. is producing lesser electricity on a cloudy day to jo remaining electricity aapko required hoti hai you are taking that from warp down so basically load sharing ho rahi hoti hai yahan par to okay. hybrid ke andar bhi ek similar working hoti hai lekin ek additional benefit iske andar add ho jata hai aur wo ye hota hai कि जिस वक्त वापडा अवेलेबल नहीं होती कंसीडरिंग uh, पाकिस्तान mm-hmm. जब लोड शेडिंग होती है तो वहां पर mm-hmm. बैटरीज अवेलेबल होती हैं आपके आपके पास आपके पास जिस तरह से यूपीएस काम करता है आपका तो सिमिलर नेचर में ये भी एक काम करता है कि सोलर इज सप्लाइंग योर लोड इवन वन दापडा इज नॉट देयर इट्स वर्किंग विद द बैटरीज इट्स चार्जिंग द बैटरीज वन दापडा इज देयर एंड वन यू आर सप्लाइंग लोड तो जब वापडा नहीं होता तो सोलर एंड बैटरीज आर सप्लाइंग योर लोड से आपको थोड़ा सा बैकअप मिल जाता है बट देन अगेन इट हैज डिसएडवाटेज के इसको Two or three years के बाद the batteries run out and even if they are dry batteries, even if they are uh, better batteries, तो आपको उनको replace करना पड़ता है. Okay. Uh, so Islam, अभी हम पहले बात भी कर रहे थे तो बात हुई uh, carbon emissions की. So as we know that different energy based ऐसे हैं fossils हो गए which release a lot of carbon emissions and I'm sure that many of the people don't know the difference between uh, carbon emissions and how they are emitted, how they affect the environment. so i'd like you to tell a little about carbon emissions and how they are produced in the environment and how they affect the environment right to sabse pehle hum understand kar lete hain ek cheez ki jab hum climate change ki baat karte hain aajkal bahut zyada sunne ko milta hai climate change global warming ye do terms hum bar bar sunte hain to hmm. iske liye jo responsible hota hai wo bahut wo kuch gases hoti hain lekin jo hmm. majorly responsible factor hai that is that is called carbon emissions jo aapne bhi bataya कार्बन एमिशन के अंदर बेसिकली होता है कि हम जब भी कोई कोई भी पावर सोर्स इस्तेमाल करते हैं इवन व्हेन वी ब्रीद वी आर एमिटिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड उसके उसको भी कार्बन एमिशन के अंदर काउंट किया जाता है तो व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग अ लार्जर एनर्जी सोर्स फॉर एग्जांपल कोल और नेचुरल गैस जब उसको बर्न किया जाता है तो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड एक बहुत बड़ी अमाउंट में रिलीज होती है एनवायरमेंट के अंदर तो दीज कार्बन एमिशंस बेसिकली कार्बन एमिशन हैं कि उनके अंदर कार्बन का फैक्टर होता है दैट इज बीइंग एमिटेड इनटू द एनवायरनमेंट जैसे जैसे इस इस कार्बन इमिशन कार्बन की तादाद ज्यादा होती जाती है हमारे एनवायरनमेंट के अंदर उस तरह उस तरह हीट बिकम्स ट्रैप्ड इन द एनवायरनमेंट एज़ वेल हमारा टेंपरेचर बढ़ता जाता है एटमॉस्फेयर का एंड आल्सो द ओशंस दे आल्सो स्टार्ट बिहेविंग एबनॉर्मली और उनका और जो पानी होता है उसका टेंपरेचर भी बढ़ता जाता है तो कार्बन इमिशंस आर देयर व्हाटएवर वी डू ऑन अ डेली बेसिस Uh, when we talk about a green lifestyle, it's not just about solar. Solar obviously a major uh, part, but लेकिन as a whole, a lifestyle change की ज़रूरत है if you want to be truly green to the environment. For example, uh-huh. the processes that go on every day. If you're driving a car, उसके अंदर भी आप carbon जो है emissions कर रहे हैं. If you are eating a burger from McDonald's और अगर उन्होंने solar system नहीं लगाया हो अपनी roof पे, तो वहाँ से भी आप carbon emissions add कर रहे हैं environment के अंदर. So it goes uh-huh. on. Uh, सर्कल विच हैज अ वेरी डीप इफेक्ट ऑन द एनवायरमेंट तो इसका नुकसान कुछ इस तरह से होते हैं कि जिस वक्त कार्बन एमिशन बढ़ती है ना हमारे एनवायरमेंट के अंदर लेमैन टर्म्स से उसका नुकसान क्या होता है कि हम इसके ऊपर इतना ज्यादा फोकस क्यों करते हैं सबसे पहला नुकसान ऑब्वियसली टेम्परेचर ज्यादा होता है लेकिन टेम्परेचर ज्यादा होने से जो नुकसान होते हैं 
वो बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे जैसे टेम्परेचर ज्यादा होता है तो हमारे ग्लेशियर्स जो कि फ्रेश वाटर के ओनली सोर्स हैं इन द वर्ल्ड दे कीप ऑन मेल्टिंग और इससे हमारे ओशन का जो लेवल है और जो ओशन का टेम्परेचर है वो राइज होता है तो वन दिस हैपन द ओशन करंट बिकम्स डिस्टर्ब और इसके अंदर जो नेचुरल मरीन लाइफ होती है उनका इको और उनके हैबिटेट्स डिस्टर्ब होना शुरू हो जाते हैं इससे बहुत एक एडवर्स इम्पैक्ट आता है हमारी फूड चेन के अंदर जो कि वहाँ से शुरू होती है और और इंटरनेट रीचेज आस तो वन द इंटायर फूड चेन बिकम्स डिस्टर्ब तो सस्टेनेबिलिटी एस्पेक्ट जो होता है वो खत्म होता जाता है आहिस्ता आहिस्ता तो इन द पास डेकेट देर हैज बिन टू डिग्रीज इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर इन द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड तो ये इट डजेंट साउंड मच बट एक्चुअली जो इसका इम्पैक्ट है दैट इज बहुत ज्यादा इसका इम्पैक्ट है दैट इज वेरी वेरी मच बिल्कुल uh so isam we also have questions coming up so we have a question from ikra matloob ikra is asking uh, do i have to go off grid when i switch 